So the best learning machines we know are the human brain. And the way the brain works is it has billions of neurons and it learns by changing the strengths of connections between neurons. So one way to make a computer learn is to get the computer to pretend to be a whole bunch of neurons and try and find a rule for changing the connection strengths between neurons so that it will learn things like the brain does. The idea is you present it with lots of examples of inputs and the outputs you'd like it to produce and you change the connection strengths so that when you show it an input it gets the answer right. And my research has mainly been about trying to discover what the rules are for changing connection strengths so that that works well. And that leads to a new kind of artificial intelligence where you don't program in knowledge, you get the computer to learn it all for itself from experience. So right now, there's major progress going on in machine translation. Computers are getting much better at translating between languages, and that'll aid communication between people. Um, pretty soon, there's going to be major developments in healthcare. Computers are going to be better than radiologists at reading CAT scans and MRI scans and x-rays. Um, that'll lead to much better healthcare. They're also going to be better at finding patterns in medical data. Um, that will have a big impact on healthcare too. Computers can also be used to design better drugs, and that too will have a big impact. There will also be other things like um, self-driving vehicles, um, which will be much, much safer than current vehicles. So it's always been the case that developments in technology um, eliminate some jobs and create other jobs. I don't think we'd say we shouldn't have mechanical diggers or we shouldn't have automatic bank machines just because um, that eliminated jobs of digging holes or jobs of being a bank teller. The problem is a society in which the increase in wealth that comes from better technology isn't shared evenly. Um, so it's really not a technological problem, it's a societal problem of how you organize the distribution of wealth. In terms of what we need to worry about, I think it's going to be a long time before we need to worry about machines more intelligent than us taking over. And I think there's much more important things to worry about in the short term. For example, right now, machine intelligence is good enough to build autonomous weapons, and they're a real danger. Um, it would be awful to have somebody like Hitler in charge of um, big fleets of small autonomous drones and we need new things like the Geneva Conventions to limit the use of autonomous weapons.